Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Give me a like if you like this kind of content. And if you're returning, welcome back. I'm super happy to have you here. I'm, I'm appreciated so much. Uh, we're going to do a Timu haul today, just a Timu haul. And I'm going to be quite honest, some of the stuff I was like super impressed with. So I kind of can't wait to show you guys. Um, and maybe I just get impressed <laughs> easily. I, I don't know. All right. But, um, Let me put my spectacles on in case I need them. You know what I need to get is like a magnifying glass that I can just like hold so I have to take my glasses on and off. But anyways, these are also from Timu. Everybody always asks me about these glasses. Um, they're really pretty. If you look up cat eye readers on YouTube, not YouTube, not YouTube, Timu. If you look up cat eye readers, these are usually pop up. Um, I just think they're like so super cute. I love cat eye glasses. They remind me of my great grandmother. I'm sorry. I'm going off rambling on and on and on. Uh, by the way, I hope you're all are doing well and staying warm if you're in a cold climate. And, uh, you know, that weather's crazy out there. I, I, I notice a lot of people saying it's like super windy in their area. But anyway, okay, okay. okay. We're just going to get into it. So I got these dry erase markers because I wanted to get a dry erase board for down here on my desk so that if I had like an idea pop up or if one of you guys gave me an idea for a video that I could kind of like write it down on that uh, marker board. So I got some of these magnetic dry erase markers. They were $3.98. You get eight of them in here. Um, so we'll see how they are, but they're also um, magnetic. Now, I don't know if the board I have is magnetic. Probably not. But So you get all eight of these. And you see there's like the little magnet right here on the back. And then there's like an eraser up at the top. So I thought they were really cool. So yeah, that's what they're for. That's what I got them for because I'm going to set up a little magnetic board down here. Actually, maybe I'll just put it. I just don't know if the dry erase board that I bought is magnetic. That's the only thing. So maybe I'll just get like a magnetic board and put them, put these on there. But I thought they were really cool. You get a bunch of different colors plus the eraser, plus the magnet. So yeah, for $3.98, you get eight. Um, whiteboard, <laughs> like they're, it's so funny how they describe stuff. For use on mo on whiteboards, glass, and most non-porous surfaces. So yeah, I don't know, we'll see. But for $3.98, I didn't think that was a bad deal. You get all eight of them. Okay, next up, I got this uh, window film cling. So you know how like if you, want to put this up in your bathroom so it's like a privacy type of thing this whole roll was 1278 it is 197 inches by 17 inches so it's 17 inches wide and 197 inches long that is a lot like look at look how wide that thing is but I'm going to use it on my bathroom window and um, also on our front door we have a little bit of um, let me get my scissors. We have a little bit of like, what do I want to say? A little bit of window at the top of our door that I kind of want to just put this on. Not, not that I don't like, not that I have people spying on me because who the heck wants to spy on me? But you know, it's just like some window cling film, but I thought this is quite a lot for 12 bucks, but this is what it looks like. So that's what it's going to look like on the window. Um, but anyway, I thought that's quite a lot of window cling for 12 bucks. I mean, look at that roll. There's a lot on there. So I was kind of impressed with the amount that I got on there. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I want to get more privacy in here. No, but, <laughs> but anyway, the, our bathroom window faces right back into our uh, neighbor's yard and it's just kind of weird. And I don't know. Anyway, anywho. Okay. So I know this is a shocker a pair of earrings, $2 and 16 cents. And these are really pretty. Like I always price stuff and like to look at it before I show you guys. But these were $2.16, and I was like, wow, these are really pretty. So this is what they look like. Um, so they're like little square. I guess that's, I guess you can call that a square. But they open at the top here, like so. You see? And then they just clasp together like that, and they hang on your ears like that. I just thought they were really, really pretty. They're like, you know, got some glitteriness to them, but they're really super pretty. So, yeah, I really like those for 216. Thought those were really nice. And I feel like they came in like other colors like uh silver or not silver, gold I mean or rose gold. Anyways, so then I got this Patella 
knee brace and you guys know I've been having knee problems well my problems kind of went away with their back like if I step on this knee the wrong way or twist it the wrong way I'm in complete misery and I hit I can tell it's swollen up today so I got these like I actually bought several knee things off of uh, Timu because honestly these things on Amazon are like 12 bucks like so I'm like heck with it 449 I'm getting this thing so it's just like a patella strap and you unzip it, or un not really unzip it, you unvelcro it, but it's got, in the inside, as you can see, it's like lifted, like raised here, so there's a little bit of compression there, and then you just strap it around your knee and make it tight for just some extra compression, like right under your kneecap. So, yeah, that's what I bought it for. I just need that extra support right there, because right now, if I'm walking, like when we went out to <laughs> breakfast, I feel like my knee is just going to pop out of place at any second. Like, I don't feel like I have a lot of stability in it so I thought I'm gonna wear this like under my clothes at work and stuff or if I'm walking somewhere but yeah it's just a little patella knee strap 449 but like I said these on Amazon are way more expensive so yeah get them on Timo okay so this next item I paid more for this than I usually do for anything on Timo it was 21.47 and I I am very much into like French country farmhouse in my house um, and so I saw these and I was like, for $21.47, I'm getting these. They are white wrought iron candle holders, but let me see how this goes. Maybe, maybe I can pause this and I'll put them together for you guys. Um, so the next time you see me, I might have these put together. You guys, I got them together. Woohoo! Look at me go! So this is what they look like. They're just a... So as you can see, I don't know if you can really tell, but they're like a distressed. And then this can even hang off of something, but hopefully you can see the whole thing. So you get two of them for 21 bucks. Just put a little candle in here. You can put like a some kind of a ring around here, like a floral ring. But I like them just like this. In fact, I might put one back behind me here and just put like a little candle there. But aren't they super cute? Like very farmhouse-y type of cute. So yeah, I love those. So yeah, they were $21.47 for both. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. But again, I don't know. I probably could have went to Hobby Lobby and got something very similar. Okay, so I know this is going to shock you, but this is there's a ring in here. <laughs> I'll take my ring off. Okay, this was $7.48. It's like a set. There's like earrings, rings, and a necklace. Wow, okay. So this is what they all look like is this. So this is the ring. That's what the ring looks like. And then you get a set of earrings and the necklace match the same exact thing. So here's what the earrings look like. And then you get a neck, like there's a little chain here. And then here is the pendant for the chain. Really pretty. Little Van Cleef and Arpel type of situation, but yeah. I just thought it was really pretty for $7.48. Um, I'm not too crazy about the chain they give you because it's like really um, small, tiny, tiny, tiny. So I might find a different chain for this. But, but yeah, I think it's really pretty. Really super pretty. Okay. But yeah, $7.48 for the necklace, earrings, and ring. So I don't know. I thought that was a pretty decent deal. Plus, I thought it was pretty. I always like this, like, blossom type of look. I always tend to, like, gravitate towards those when I see them, whether it's a, uh, whether it's a necklace or earrings or anything. Okay, next we have some toothpaste tablets. You guys, I'm obsessed with these toothpaste tablets. I get these all the time. These were $3.37, and it's, they're peppermint. Um, like I said, I keep these in my purse all the time, so when I go to work, if I eat something after work or I don't want to brush my, you know, if I want to like take, I think it's weird to brush your teeth at work. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Like, I don't want to be like spitting in the sink at work. Is that weird? Does that seem weird? I don't know. Anyway, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to spit this out. Any <sighs> Anywho, they're toothpaste tablets. <laughs> you get 30. I guess I don't think things through when I, before I talk, but this is what they look like and you get 30 of them and you just like chew the thing up. It's peppermint flavored. You chew it up and then you spit it out. It'll foam up and then you just rinse your mouth out and it just 
freshened your breath and stuff. So, yeah. I always like to keep these in my purse. I have several of them. I don't know. I'm weird. I guess. I don't know. Why am I so weird about brushing my teeth at work? Like, just brush your teeth at work. Whatever. Okay. Next is <laughs> this um, eyeshadow stick. It was $1.79. I, I hate when they put the label, like, right over the brand. Like, what the heck, Timu? I am trying to, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't wear, like, a whole lot of makeup. But I'm going to try and use a lash lift kit from Timu. And if I do that and it works, I can actually wear eyeshadow. Um, I don't like to wear eyeshadow when I do my own lashes, like when I put on lashes. So, yeah, this color number is 11. Of course, it's in a wrapper within a wrapper within a wrapper. So, uh, yeah, it's a shadow stick. Again, it was $1.79. The color says 11, and that looks awfully holographic. So I hope it's... I mean, it's it's just like a nude kind of color. Oh, it's really pretty. No, wait. I thought it was going to have glittery because of that, but it's not. It's not a glittery shade at all. It's just like a nude eyeshadow, like a matte nude. I really like that. Honestly, I would use that on my lips, too, to be quite honest with you. But, yeah, I love those. $1.79 for that? Absolutely. So we'll see what it's like when it dries down. It's very creamy, very creamy right now. So let's see what happens when it dries down. Okay, uh, again with the knee <laughs> issues, I got this uh, knee wrap for 98 cents. It's, it's an adhesive one so that when you take it off, like it, it'll stick to itself so you can wrap your knee. I just need to wrap my knee when I like go to work because I walk up and down stairs and I don't want my knee giving out on me at work. <laughs> I look like a real idiot. So this is a dollar. I'm just going to wear it under my pants at work, you know, just hopefully nobody will see it. That's why I like, like something flat like that when I have to go to work so I don't have like a big bulky knee uh, thing on my knee. Okay, this was $3.59. I uh, don't know what it is. Let's open it up. Okay, you guys probably can't even see this down here. Okay, $3.59. It says lipstick on it. And again, with the label over the, you can't even tell what the heck it is. Can't even see it. Okay, $3.59. Oh, this is... I bought this literally just for the packaging. Like, look at the gold packaging on that. How pretty is that? I don't know. Okay. All right. So this end that looks kind of similar to a heart, you pull it out. This is the cap. The lipstick is in here. And let's swatchy swatch it. It's just like a shimmery kind of burgundy-ish color. I don't know. It's really pretty. But I love the packaging. I'm a packaging... Like, that gets me every stinking time. Um, the color, it doesn't say the, does it say the color number on here somewhere. Oh, shoot. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I'll try it. I'll try and link everything down below. If I don't, just leave a comment. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really say. The number at the bottom says B029. I don't know if that's, like, anything or not. But I love the packaging. I'm, like, a packaging fanatic. So that was the main reason I got it. And the color is really pretty. I mean, it's, like, a shimmery sheen type of color. So it's kind of nice. I like it. Oh. Every time that something makes noise, I always get nervous. This is probably my magnetic board. Um, I paid $12.48 for it. Okay, let me open it. Guess what? My magnetic board is magnetic, so I can actually use these pens on it. So that's awesome, because these are sticking to it. Okay, so this is like a whole mag magnetic board set for $12.48. So you get this little sponge to, like, erase it. You get... Uh, a stand for it if you want to stand it up on your table and it comes with all of the stuff for the stand you get here's the board it's small which is I wanted a small one but it is magnetic so you get these three um, markers and then they give you three um, what do I want to call those sit like push push pin kind of why can't I think of the word for this? But anyway, it's just a magnetic pushpin. But I wanted something small just to write ideas down on. So this was twelve forty-eight. Is that what I said? I think. Yeah, twelve forty-eight. I don't think that's a bad bad deal for this. Plus, it's like a stand, so you can like sit it up on your desk. Or I'm probably gonna put mine up on the wall, maybe even. But twelve forty-eight. But yeah, these are the ones that I bought. Okay, see, they stick. That's what I was hoping. I didn't. Now this has a. This has a plastic sleeve on it, so, but see how those 
These are the other ones that I bought. Because these are probably, you know. But yeah, I'm so glad this is magnetic. Yay. So glad that's magnetic. So yeah, I'm going to put all this back into here. But I like that it comes with a little cleaner too. And then I also like that you can prop this up on a desk. You don't have to hang it. You can just put it up on your desk. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Okay, next up, more knee stuff. <laughs> Guys, if it's not rings with me, it is knee braces, okay? This one was $5.78. And like I said before, I'm telling you, if you need stuff like this, get it off of Timu because... These are, I bought one off Amazon that was like 12 freaking dollars. And it's the same dang thing. So this one's 578. Again, it's like a knee, like the back of your knee goes here, and then these straps go around the front of your knee to hold it, to brace your patella like in place. So yeah, I mean, it, it's made very, very well. It's, uh, like it's got little holes in it for breathability. It's stretchy. I, yeah, I can't wait to use these. Because I feel like my knee will just feel better with a little bit more stability. So, yeah, this was $5.78. Okay. <laughs> more knee. Apparently, I'm, apparently, I am thinking I'm going to have a whole lot of knee issues. Okay, so these are two knee straps, and they're $2.30 for both. They're skin colored. Um, I'll just show you one. I actually have a couple of these, but they've got a little Velcro right here, and then, you know, it's just a stretchy strap that you can like wrap around your knee and blah 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 so I don't know I guess I figured I was gonna need more than one so with the problems I'm having but yeah and then it just velcros to itself so yeah two of them for 230 that's not bad I think that's like less than a dollar 15 a piece you couldn't even get that at Dollar Tree for that price so totally well worth it okay um then I got some pro makeup brushes this is a three-piece they all look the same to me. oh wait okay so it's a double-ended they were $2.98 they look nice but they all look the same so what's the point I guess I guess I didn't wow these are hard to get open they all look like the same brush just different colors I mean okay but that's okay yeah, it's like three of the same, but just different colors. So the one end looks like that, and then the other end is like a pencil point type of brush. Like that. They're good They're good quality. I mean, they're really good quality brushes. So, I mean, yeah, I like them. We'll, we'll maybe do some eye looks. I'm trying, I think I have a couple Timu eyeshadow palettes, so we'll try them out. Okay, let me take my rings off again because I have a bracelet and ring set. Now, this was $8.48 for a bracelet and a ring. And this bracelet looks like a lot like the one in my last haul that was, like, you know, crooked. So, again, with me with these blocks, these are, this is really pretty, though, for $8.48. And the ring is, like, you know, there's no size. It just slips on like that. That's what the ring looks like. And then this is what the bracelet looks like. Very pretty. Very pretty bracelet. And it's got some... Now, around the sides doesn't have, um, not diamonds, uh, rhinestones, but the front just has the rhinestones. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, really pretty. I mean, you can adjust it to your, you know, whatever size wrist you have. So that's what it looks like. Really pretty. I like that. 848 for that. Okay, next is a eyeliner, I guess. Uh, it was $1.19. I got it in white because I like to use eyeliner, white eyeliners to underline, or I should say underline, but un if you line in your waterline with like a nude or a white shade, it makes your eyes like really, really pop. So I don't know if I should do one eye and show you. So I don't have any eyeliner or anything on. So when I, let's put it on, I just take my, well, this isn't even very white, to be honest with you. Like, barely, barely you can tell. But I put it on this eye. I don't know if you can see a difference or not. But it's, it could be a little more creamy. It's almost too silvery and not white, if that makes sense to you. Does that make sense? Like, it's almost too uh, glisteny or sheen. It's got almost too much sheen to it. But it's not bad. I mean, 
I don't know if you can even see a difference in my eyes. Not really. I mean, sort of, but not really. So I don't know. I don't know. The other thing you can do with these, though, is just brighten up the corner of your eye. That's a good thing for that since it's got a little bit of sheen to it. Okay, next up. I always say next up. I don't know why I do that. Okay, 359 for this, color number 02. Oh, this is a blush, I think. Sandwich Moose. Sandwich Moose, number 02. Okay, I think it's a blush. I, I'm pretty sure. It's it's a cute container. That's what the container looks like. Um, she has twist the top. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I thought something was falling out. Um, I don't know. I don't know why they call it. I mean, it is kind of smushy. But I'm not getting very much payoff to it, so I don't know what, like, that's the color, like, right there. I don't know. It is very, very, um, it's almost a cross between a powder and a lip. I don't know. I mean, I see it on there. You probably have to have the right type of brush for that. Maybe it would be better on a on a blush brush with my fingers, because it is very moussey. It's not, it's not smushy, but it's, like, powdery but moussey. It's kind of kind of different oh wait a second look at the bottom there's like a hold on a second hold on a second it's got this little thing like a little like you go in with it or something see it on there now yeah I feel like you would definitely need to have some type of a although I don't know the color payoff just oh my gosh I just really went in hard look I went in like super hard look at it. I don't know it just seems like it's almost I mean you know what if you like a really light you know a very very light type of blush then yes maybe I just got a really light color I don't know anyway but yeah it comes with this little finger pad thing but there's the color on there I mean I don't know it's okay I'll try I mean I'll try it out it's just I just, I don't know. It just seems like it's very, very, very faint. But, you know, that's not a bad thing. If you just want a little, little wee bit of color to your face, then then that's not a bad thing, right? Okay, next is, oh, I bought these. I think I saw either Hey Everybody or someone talk about these. But they were $1.48. You get, how many pieces? Silvery, 6 millimeter ball, 5 pack. So I think you get like 10, but they're like um, necklace. Okay, how do I explain this? They're like necklace, um, not extenders, but they're like the magnetic. So if you put it on your necklace, you can like pull your necklace apart and do this instead of instead of clasping it every time. You just use the magnet, which I love. But anyways, they're like, I don't know if you can see it, but the, there's like a magnet between these and you just pull them apart. And they're very good, so you can like clip clip it onto your necklace, and then that way you don't have to fuss with the clasp every time. You know what I mean? You can just magnet them together. So that's pretty nifty. Okay. All right. Pair of earrings. These were free somehow. I think when I did the reward 777, I spent over a certain amount, and they let me pick a free gift. So I got these for free, and I feel like I either had bought these before or there's more of these somewhere but they're really pretty they're like a rose gold with this really pretty uh stone and there's even some stones up in like the top area there but they're really really pretty i bought these before but this time i got them for free because i you if you go on to um timu and type in reward 777 or rewards 777 i can't remember what if it has an s or not but you will get the like their exclusive part, which I think is going away soon. So if you've never heard of that, try typing it in and see if you can get to it. <clears throat> okay, I don't have a price on this unless I wrote it on the box. Oh, 359. This is another one of those lipsticks that I fell for the packaging for one of these suckers. And wow, this one is it the same color? It's the same color, guys. I don't know why. Okay, apparently I bought two of these in the same exact color. 
I don't know. Maybe I accidentally added two to my part. That seems to happen quite a bit. Literally the exact same color. I swear they do that sometimes. Okay, so here's the lash lift kit that I bought that I'm going to try. It was 1034 and you get the whole kit and caboodle in this thing. Now, I've never done a lash lift on myself. Um, I've seen people do a lash lift, but I've never done it on myself before. But you get all of these items in here. You get the glue, the perm lotion, some fixation lotion, a cleaning tool, a cleanser, a nourishing lotion, and the lift pads. Like, everything is in here. And does it have directions? Gosh, I hope. But there's, like, directions on the back on how to do it. So we're going to try this. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video of this, of doing this, because it's either going to be really good or it's going to be an epic fail, one or the other. I'm just hoping my eyes don't burn off, but let me know. Do you want me to do this like in a short video maybe or just let you know if it works or I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. I don't. If you ever seen a kit like this or used one, let me know. Um, I'm a little nervous because I've never done it myself. But you put these like iPads on and then you push your lashes up onto the iPad, the iPads, yeah, the lift pads, and then you perm it, like you perm it in the shape of that pad. So I don't know. I'm like a little bit nervous, but yeah, we're going to find out for 10 bucks if it works or not. Okay, so I am super impressed with these two next two pieces. Um, you probably have seen them. They are pictures, and these are actual, like, wood pictures. This one was $12.97. Um, they go kind of with the farmhouse French country type of motif, decor, whatever you want to call it. If I can get in here. So, yeah, this one was, again, $12.97. Um, it comes with, gosh, it's a bag within a bag again. What the heck? All right, let me cut this so I can just rip it off. All right, so it looks like this. It's this is wood. Um, it's it it is wooden, but it's not. <laughs> it is a fake distress type of wood. Put it that way. It, it comes with a little hanger, but it looks like this. It's got like lavender on it. Um, but it looks real, doesn't it? it? Looks like there's like two pieces of wood here. Like you, who would know, right? Who would know? But it's very like French country looking. But yeah, this is like. Now, I don't think I like this one as much as the next one. This one is not, I'm telling you, the next one beats this one out because it's actually separate pieces here. But So if you see these, know that some of them, this is like a plywood type of situation. So, see? But I think it looks kind of cool. Like, you, who would know, really? But with that being said, I also got this one. Now, this one was $12.48, and it's, it's the same idea, and I feel like I got them from the same seller, but this one, as you can see, there's like a rim around here, you know what I'm saying? Now, this one's got the bee in the center, you know, like, I love my bees, but see how this, like, sticks out? It's like, actually, I mean, is this real distressed barnwood? No. Does it look like it? Kind of, yes. I mean, from afar, who would know? I could put it, you know, if you put it up on your wall, like... Who's going to really know? Um, but it's very French country. And they're a pretty decent size, too. I, I thought they were pretty cool for, like, 12 bucks. Now, is it worth 12 bucks because it's not real barnwood? It just looks like it? No. But you know what you could do is paint over this with, like, some uh, chalk paint. And then distress it and put some antique wax on it. And honest to gosh, it would look like just like wood. You know what I mean? Like, you could really judge these up to make them look better and then maybe put some like lavender or some kind of greenery on the top or along the bottom would be really nice so I mean you can judge stuff up now is it worth 12 are those worth 12 I don't know I mean you know like I said Hobby Lobby when they do their half offs and 70 percent off and all of their offs you know you can get some pretty good deals so I don't know okay next up is Nails. These are another set of the handmade nails. These were $5.48. I love their handmade nails. I just I just do. They look so good. It literally looks like you went to the salon. You get the little alcohol pad and nail gel tip things and you know your 
file. Wow, that word eluded me in an orange stick. And then, of course, their cat eye again. They're like a brown kind of nude color. But look how pretty they are when they change colors. I mean, like, so pretty. And these were size medium, and they look like they're going to fit me, like, really, really well. So, yeah, I really like those. Really, really like them. It's just They literally look like you just went to the salon. So, totally not mad at those at all. Um, yeah, so five bucks for those. But well worth the five bucks. All right, getting down to the nitty gritty here. Okay, I got another knee brace wrap. <laughs> this one was 98 cents. And again, that's cheaper than Dollar Tree. So, and believe me, I love Dollar Tree. I was just there today. But it's just an adhesive wrap. It, you know, adheres to itself. Um, yeah, so it just kind of adheres back to itself. Love that. So I'm just planning on using these, like, for daily use. So... There's that, 98 cents. Here's another one, same exact thing. Nine, it was 98 cents too, but it was a, like a skin color. But yeah, I literally just got it to wrap my knee. Okay, another pair of nails. And I feel like I maybe have bought these before. They're called Aurora Quick Crystal, and they were $3.98. Um, they have like a pinkish kind of tone to them. I'm probably going to spill them as I do this, but they're cat eye too. Let me see if I can hold one up. They're really pretty. I like the they're kind of thick, but they're like a pink Aurora type of silvery. I don't even know what you would see the cat eye effect a little bit. But, yeah, they're really pretty. But I like that their nails aren't, like, super thin. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes if you get nails, they're, like, really thin, like, cheap. But these these aren't. These are actually really good. For $3.98, I like I, I'm. They're good. They're nice. So I don't even know if you can really see them. But they're, they're cat eye too. I'm, I'm into the cat eye thing for some reason. Who knows? They look nice, I guess. Or I wouldn't or I wouldn't quit, keep buying them. Okay, so I don't know. Suddenly I've become obsessed with like pocket mirrors. So I bought this one. It was $268. Um, and I think I bought a couple more, but like different different designs. But I thought this was super. Like look at that. It's like a silvery wave. It's textured. It is textured. No, it's not textured on the back, but then you open it up and you have a mirror in there. And let me see if one side is, now it's covered, so hold on a second here. Let me take the covering off. I wanted to see if one was like a, like a close, you know, let me see. Is that mercy? No, they're the same. It's just a mirror. There's no like magnifying mirror in here, but how cute is this? Just like pull out your purse, put some lipstick on, but it it closes very well too. So I don't know. Yeah, little mirror, little compact mirror. I just thought it was nice. Um, I think it looks cool. So yeah, two sixty eight. I actually saw a bunch of other pocket mirrors on Timu, and I'm pretty sure I bought a couple of them. But they had like print designs on them, but I thought that was cute. Okay, this is a cutting board. It was four eighty nine, which I, I don't know, $4.89 for a cutting board. I probably could have got something similar like that, like this at Dollar Tree, but it's actually quite heavy, and it's got this silicone end, silicone ends on it. So I don't know, and then there's like a little lip around here in case something, you know, gets too wet or you're, you know, whatever. But for $3.48, or I'm sorry, $4.89, I don't know. I mean, it's it's nice. It's good quality. It's It's thick. So, and I like the silicone ends. Be nice just hung up in your kitchen. So, yeah, I'm constantly, like, I cook every night. So, you know, I, I'm i always cutting up vegetables or something. Okay, two items to go. Wow. Okay, here's another one of these eye shadow things like the other one. And I'm probably getting, like, lipstick all over me for my hand. But this one is color 12. It's $1.79. I wish I would have bought these in more colors. I'm going to be honest because they're... Let me look at this one. Okay, so this, it actually kind of dries down to where it's not going to smear. So it might be like transfer resistant, which is great. And here we go. Paper within a paper, within a wrapper, within a box, within a everything. Okay, so this one's more uh, darker maybe than the other one. Okay, let me take this bracelet off first before I draw on my hand. Oh, it's kind of, they're very similar. This has a more like orangey kind of tint to it or they're both nice though they're both kind of like 
nudes, I guess you could say. So I don't know. They're very, they're matte and they're actually very creamy and they're, they seem to be transfer resistant. So not mad at it. Last but certainly not least is a necklace and I paid $2.98 for this. And it's got another one of those blossoms on it, like the Van Cleef and Arpel, or it kind of reminds me of like Louis Vuitton, kind of, but it's in gold. And I don't know why I buy gold, because I don't know why I do that to myself. Um, the chain, mm, not so great, but that's what the necklace looks like. I mean, honestly, if it was on a different chain, maybe, but there's some like little rhinestones around the center there. Not sure if you can see them, but I mean, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. I mean, you know, it's not bad, but I don't know. I just, I'm never super impressed with Timu's gold color. It always just seems really yellowy. Um, so I don't know. I mean, 298. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, it's pretty, I guess. I just don't really like the chain and it's very, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. It's not, it's not. Super great, but it's okay. But I do like this. I do like this for sure with the ring. No doubt. I, if this came in gold and the gold wasn't like yellow, that would be great. Okay, besties, that was my haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay warm out there if you're in some cold climate, if you're getting some snow or whatever. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.